In one of our very first videos five years ago, we cut open a rubber band ball and it exploded. We want to try again, but this time put it in resin so it won't explode and we can get a nice cross section of it. You were ahead of your time, Hunter. There were some unexpected problems, but we didn't let those stop us. And let me tell you, the results were not what we expected. First step is to get a rubber band ball. It can't be that expensive, can it? Fine, I'll do it myself. You might be wondering the secret to making the perfect rubber band ball. I'm not gonna say it's the Hot Wheels car, but I'm not gonna say it's not. Now the astute among you will notice that blue is the smallest, yellow is medium, and red is the largest. I figured out it was faster to sort the rubber bands before putting them on rather than leaving them in a pile. So for those of you keeping track at home, yes, I did time myself while putting rubber bands on a rubber band ball. Can you tell I was bored? So I set the rubber band ball in the bowl I was going to use as a mold and started pouring the epoxy before I realized that was a stupid idea. I really wanted to make sure the epoxy got deep into the core of the ball. So that's why you get to watch me repeat the vacuuming process more times than is probably necessary. As the age-old saying goes, a watched resin bowl in the vacuum chamber never boils. And I definitely wasn't watching it. Even though I sprayed half a can of epoxy mold release on this bowl, it really didn't want to come out, so we had to resort to some desperate measures. Sorry, Mom. When I was all done pouring, I set it in front of the space heater overnight so it would finish curing faster. And in the morning, I put it in the freezer to keep it on its toes. After that, it was ready to be removed. Missed it. Missed the impact. I thought you were going to throw it up first. Oh. Long clip. I thought that was going to go up too. Oh. That was good cool. crack and it cracked through the resin. Oh, well, that's good. This was Dan's idea. It cracked with all the resin. My bad. <laughs> So we've got this nice tile grouted here as a nice base for our bowl. <laughs> that 
That looks so dumb. <laughs> Good thing it was on the tile so it didn't fall through. That was that was unintended a but stroke of brilliance. But brilliant at the same time. Who headed up this project? Who who was the project manager? Uh I suppose I was. <laughs> Oh, mm. oh, that's a big piece. That oh, that's a real big oh, piece. Yeah, Batman. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh. 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 oh, so close. Wow. It's beautiful. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like one of those Rubik's Cube like modifications that I used to watch. Look at that flying saucer. <laughs> Do you think the resin is all the way through the uh, rubber band ball? That's what we're hoping. I Did you vacuum it? it? I vacuumed it like 10 times. Oh no, we sticky. All right, we gotta wait for it to dry. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> The resin did not go all the way through. Yikes. <laughs> not even close. Well, that resin, it looks like it only got through the red layer and a little bit into the yellow. I guess that means you had it wrapped tight enough that it was airtight. Or vacuum tight. Resin tight. Yeah. Which is not as good as watertight, probably. It looks like a fun gobstopper, though. Vomits blue rubber bands out. Blech. Yeah, there's no resin on any of the blue. The yellow has some resin. <laughs> Ow. Keep snapping my finger. <laughs> Ow! It's like the pieces that break off have like tiny pieces of dried resin on them, so it's like just stabbing <laughs> me with resin. <laughs> it's like those Ow. whips with like the special... Barbs in them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The flagella. <laughs> That's about how far the resin got in. Uh, Once you get enough on there and it's tight enough, there's no way you'll get the resin to to go through all the layers. Because yeah. it's just going to be airtight. The more you know. Wow! Yeah. Found the nucleus. Yay! That's the very center, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and it's just all expanded out. Would you look at that? Would you just look at so, it? Um, it's kind of a miracle we've made like the perfect model of the cell. Amazing. <laughs> My name is Dan, this is Mitchell, and this is the Water Jack. 